All right, you guys, welcome back. Hey, we're back in Colorado. We're here with Weld Tube, the cameraman Robert. Anyways, we are getting ready to roll out a three quarter inch thread alet. It's uh, a lot of people don't realize you can roll these things out, but guys, stay tuned. We got a good good episode coming up for you. Be sure you subscribe to Schofield Welding, Weld Tube, South Coast Welding Academy. Make sure you hit the notification button. That way you're alerted anytime a new video is uploaded. Stay tuned, hope you enjoy, and uh, sit back and relax. We'll see you in just a sec. All right, you guys, hey, we got this piece chucked up in the rollout wheel. Now, to be able to roll something out, you need a rollout wheel. Just a couple things you need to get this done. Uh, of course, your working piece you got. Then I got about a three inch nipple right here that, that we're going to thread into this and then chuck it up into the rollout wheel. But first things first, we need to smoke this thread alet. The reason being is when you go to welding on these thread alets, you're gonna throw sparks, number one, and number two, if you ruin the threads, all your work is ruined, all right? It's a cutout, throw it away, it's no good. But if you'll smoke it, you'll protect the thread. So let's get that done right now. So all you do, just kinda let that thing just kinda big old black smoke in it, just smoke that thread right there. Now all it's doing is protecting them threads. It kind of gives it a little bit of a protection surface to where when a spark hits it, it doesn't stick quite as well, all right? It's a pretty good method. It's a, it's a method I had an old man show me how to do and uh, it has served us very well. Next thing we're gonna do, thread this uh, nipple in here. Now the thing about these nipples, don't tighten them down too tight. You want them just tight enough that holds the piece to where you can roll it because what's gonna happen is this thing's gonna expand as it heats up, but then it's gonna shrink. And if you tighten, if you crank this nipple into here, you'll never get it out. So here in this episode, I'm gonna, you'll see me every now and then, about the time I get done with a pass, I'll sit here and I'll, I'll kind of walk, rock this back and forth. All it's doing is breaking up the, the, the bind in it and it's gonna keep it from seizing on there. Now what we got here, we got us about a 332 gap. We're gonna run some eighth inch 5P plus at about 100 amps probably. Then we're gonna, then we're gonna hot pass with some four millimeter or 532 7010 series pipeliner rod. So let's get the root put in this really fast and then we'll go from there. So our tie-in's pretty thin right there where I ground that. There we go, cut all the way through the tie-in. Boom, the root's in you guys, it's done. Now we're gonna go ahead, buff this, run a 532 7010 pipeliner rod into it. And uh, that's gonna be our hot pass. We'll flush it out with one pass and then uh, run an eighth inch 7018 to cap it. Done deal, let's do that. Down. Okay guys, this is gonna be a single bead cap right here, or we're gonna to try to make it a single bead cap. Turn me down, Jed. Now basically what I'm looking for is I wanna tie into that OLED up on top, but I wanna make sure that it's flaring out down at the bottom as well. Guys, you can turn out a lot of OLEDs this way. Now some inspectors don't like a single bead cap. They're gonna call you on it and tell you they want a two bead cap. But that that is 100% up to the procedure and to the inspector. So just do what they want and, and you should be good. So right here I'm kinda of letting the gravity do its thing. So I'm kinda of keeping the puddle on the downhill side of this, or your guys' downhill side. I'm keeping that the top of that puddle up there. 
and it's just stacking in there. Now we're coming to the tie-in, and I I stop so that I can knock this tie-in down because it's just a big old ball of slag. Okay, make sure we're not seized on there. We're still good. Because if you do get seized on there while it's hot, most of the time you can get it taken care of. All right, you guys, there's the LH cap. If you can figure out how to do rollouts on your thread alets, man, you guys are going to be able to gain a lot of ground through the day. I mean, you can roll out as big a thread alet as they'll let you roll out, or as, lo as long as you can find the nipple for it. But hopefully that was able to help you guys out, give you a couple tips. Maybe you're able to see an arc shot a little better. Make sure that you subscribe. Scopefield Welding, Weld Tube, South Coast Welding Academy. Hit the notification button so that anytime we upload a video, you guys are notified instantly. All right? Everybody have a great rest of your night. Be blessed. And we'll talk to you here in a bit.